I'm Anne Marie Watson, and I'm the marketing and events coordinator at Renter College Library. And part of my job is to um, deal with the social media aspects of um, of the library and be the social media face. Um, so I manage the library's Facebook account and the Twitter account. And recently, uh, the in April 2012, I gave a presentation at the Alberta Library Conference in Jasper on Twitter for librarians. So the workshop um, was a general Twitter workshop, but I'll talk specifically about how libraries can use Twitter. Um, so social media in general isn't about um, traditional marketing, which is pushing your message out there, a, a one-way um, tool. Social media is about a conversation and engaging your community, um, and Twitter is a great tool for doing that. Um, it's about having a conversation. You want to provide information and be engaging, don't just push noise out there to your community. Just briefly, if you're not on Twitter already, it's easy to sign up. Go to twitter.com, um, choose a username that reflects the real name of your library so your community can find you, and uh, fill out the biography. It's a description of what your library is. Um, you include your location so people in your community can find you, and upload a picture so they recognize you. Aside from the obvious ideas like um, providing information about workshops or um, story times at your library or your hours, um, there are other ways that you can use Twitter to engage your, um, your community and I have five specific ideas that I'll share with you. The idea is to link your library to events that are going on, whether it's in your community, province-wide, national, international events. For example, um, Library Month is in October, so that's a national event that you can obviously link your library to. Recently we had a provincial election. Libraries provide a lot of information for their communities. That's a way you can um, engage your community. Also in April, it was the 100th anniversary of the Titanic. That's a fun way that you can, you know, maybe you've got a, a book about the Titanic, maybe you've got the movie, share some information there. Those are fun ways that you, and practical ways that you can engage with your community and invite them into your library and maybe they'll be surprised at all you do have to offer. To um, answer reference questions on Twitter. All, all kinds of people in your community are asking questions on Twitter. Where can I find this? Does anyone have a recommendation on this? Jump into the conversation even if they haven't asked the question specifically to your library. You can provide some information or invite them in um, or direct them. We, all, we do referrals all the time in our libraries, so do a referral via Twitter. Another idea related to that is to share some of the interesting questions that you get at your reference desk. You don't want to provide um, expansive details, but we deal with all kinds of interesting situations that other people in your community might learn from. So share some of that. Idea number three is to find a way to stand out from the crowd. Um, make a niche for yourself. For example, um, the Register Public Library has done this well with their First Line Fridays, where every Friday they tweet the first line from a novel and they invite their Twitter community to guess what novel it came from. It's fun, it's easy, low cost, um, but it, it's a way to engage with the community and get some interest. It is to use Twitter to stay current and connect with your community that way. Um, so you probably already publish a newsletter or maybe you have a blog tweet those headlines um, and keep your community informed that way. Also link to things that are happening in the news, like when Margaret Atwood publishes a new book or when there's a new movie out based on a book, The Hunger Games, tweet about that. It's a link between your community and what you do in your library. My last idea is to host a tweet up in your library. A tweet up is an in-person meeting of Twitter users, a tweet meet up. Um, so you just put it out there via Twitter saying we're having a tweet up on this date at this time, come on down and people will show up. You might want to partner with a local restaurant to provide some food or drink um, and people show up just for half an hour and meet some of the other people that they already know in a virtual way and now they're meeting them in a physical way. It's a lot of fun and uh, you'll be surprised at the amount of people that will show up to this event. Just in conclusion, um, remember that you want to be consistent. Don't start a Twitter account and then drop it after a few weeks when you become busy with something else. Um, it takes time to build a community on Twitter and it just put in the time and, and be persistent and be patient with it. 
don't get too caught up in your follower count. Um, just engage with those people that are following you and it will take care of itself. It will build on its own. Twitter is a pretty informal medium, so don't be too formal. Uh, match your voice to the medium and have some fun with it. I invite you to follow my library account. It's at RDC Library. Or if you want to follow me personally, my personal username is at AMJ Watson. You can follow me and you can also ask me some questions if you do want to follow up on it.